Hey, what's up, Solar Family? How are you? It's James here. Hopefully, you're doing amazing. And in this video, I want to go over the pros and cons as far as building a solar sales team. Because I honestly feel there's going to be a certain time in your career when you're going to be thinking about, you know what, should I scale? Should I start building a team? And I want to give you all the pros and cons, right? So I can cut your learning curve. But before I dive into it, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click subscribe. If you want to get in the solar industry or you're a roofing or home improvement contractor and you also want to get in the solar industry, make sure you book that call. It's going to be a pop-up right above this video. So let me go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so I want to go over the pros first. So one of the pros as far as building your own sales team is you're going to be able to duplicate and scale because you know if it's only you selling you can only do so much in 24 hours but if you can duplicate yourself with you know a few solar consultants now you'll be able to scale your business and be able to override every deal that they close another great pro as far as having a sales organization is eventually you don't have to personally sell any more deals right because now you have a sales organization that's closing the deals for you. And every deal that they close, you're getting an override. But again, this sounds great, but every pro also has its cons. So let me go ahead and dive into the cons. So the first con is you're gonna be personally distracted as far as your own production. Because now, not only are you worrying about your sales, you're also worrying about your team sales, their KPIs, and everything that goes along with it. So my suggestion is if you're going down this route as far as building a team, make sure that you're already set financially. Because again, your personal production will go down, right? When you're focusing on other things as far as growing a team. So make sure that you're closing enough deals and you also have enough money saved away, right? And another con is, and I honestly feel back in the day I would have took this as a pro, now you're dealing with a whole lot of people, right? They have their own personalities, their own beliefs, and their own egos, and it can be frustrating, right? So back in the day, I would love to have managed, you know, 30, 40 people, right? And I did, I had zero problems with it. But as I'm getting older, I noticed that I don't wanna deal with so many people anymore, right? And maybe you're totally different than I am, right? Because everybody has their own things that makes them happy. But for me personally, building a sales organization of hundreds and hundreds of people are more a headache for me because my personal overall goal these days is to have more time with my family and my kids and my wife and you know, be able to do things that what we wanna do and not necessarily tie down to managing a whole entire team. But keep in mind that if you don't like to manage a team, now you're gonna be dealing with a whole lot more people. Another con is, motivation because for me personally i'm not a motivational speaker like i can only motivate myself right so if you're not a person that can motivate people maybe sales is not like your forte it's not your your gift that you shine you're gonna have to hire somebody that can motivate people or find a current commission-based rep that can do that for you but if you don't have somebody to motivate a team and if you can't do it yourself, then you're going to have, you know, people falling off left and right because they aren't motivated. And another con is you're going to have to track not only your KPIs, which is key point indicators, you're going to have to track the whole team KPIs, right? So for example, if you have a door to door team or you have a sales team, you have to track everyone's production. And because you're a good salesperson, your key strength may not be building a team or it may not be tracking KPIs, right? So before you start building a team, make sure that you're fairly good with numbers to track everyone's KPIs to make sure that your company is on track. Another con is now you have overhead, meaning that you may have an office, you may have to get swag and keep in mind, and I didn't know this when I, when I first got started, you're gonna have me taking your team out to lunch, right? Or even sometimes dinner. And everything can start adding up, right? From the office space to swag to lunch to dinners or whatever else you need, supplies for your office. 
So now you have a higher overhead versus if you just close deals yourself, now you have very minimal to low overhead. And lastly, for me personally, this is a nightmare. Accounting is a nightmare for me. So meaning that once you build a sales organization, now you're in charge of all the payroll. So when the money comes in, or if you're having overrides from one rep to another, or there's like multiple overrides and generational overrides, it can be a headache and a half. So again, just be prepared when you want to start up your own sales organization. Because the folks that are doing really well in sales and closing a lot of personal deals themselves, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna be good at actually growing a business, a team, motivating and setting systems in place. But don't get me wrong, setting up a solar sales organization the right way with the right coaches, with the right mentorship, it can really, really help. So hopefully that helped you out. So if you wanna dive in deeper, you wanna get into solar, or you're a roofing or even a home improvement contractor and you also wanna get in solar, make sure you book your solar strategy call. It's gonna be a pop-up right above this video. But before you take off, make sure you click subscribe as well so you get all of my tips and tricks every single week when I release them. Other than that, have an amazing day. Goodbye for now. Peace.